Hi, UC family. My name is Daniel, and welcome to day three of our 21-day fast. Our focus today is seek, seeking God. And our scripture today is Matthew chapter 7, verse 7, and it reads, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And the one who knocks, the door will be open." Wow, isn't that a powerful scripture, right? Ask, seek, and knock. This is an open invitation from our Heavenly Father for us to keep on asking. That once we ask, just because we don't see it immediately, it doesn't mean he is not listening. That God could ask us to continually come to him in prayer, asking for those things that we desire of him. I don't know what you may be desiring today or at times when you may feel like, man, I keep on asking. I just feel like God is not hearing me. He says in his word clearly in the scripture we just read, he says, be persistent. Keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking. I know sometimes we can get discouraged by the fact that God hasn't broken through yet in our lives in that area that we want to see him move in. But my encouragement to you today is whatever it is this year in 2023 that you're asking God for within these next 21 days that as we begin to pray, and seek God that I, that you keep on praying, that you keep on seeking, that you keep on asking, that you don't lose heart. Get a new energy, a fresh wind to go after God like never before, to seek him. Because his word says if we seek him with our whole heart, we will find him. Is that all right? So let's do this. Let's pray today. Will you bow your head with me as we pray this morning? God, we're asking now. Lord, that you would just begin to give us the energy, begin to give us the wisdom, begin to give us the strength, God, to seek you, God, to seek you, Lord, with all of our heart, to lay aside every distraction, to lay aside every weight, God. We're asking that you would move powerfully in us now, even in the space we're in now, whether it's at our desk, at home, in the car, wherever we may be watching this today, whatever time we may be watching this now, God, ask that your presence would fill our space. God, we pray now, God, we lift up our homes before you, that they would be come sanctuaries to you, that all this year, God, they would be filled with your presence. God, help us to cast out anything in our homes, God, that's not like you, anything that may be distracting us from giving our whole heart to you today. We pray blessings upon our home, God, in Jesus' name. We ask, Lord, that you would allow your angels to encamp around our homes, God, and protect them, that you would fill them with your presence and with your peace, that when people step into our living spaces, God, they would feel your presence and come face to face with the creator of the universe. God, Flood our homes with your spirit. Flood our homes with your power. God, we pray, God, even on our jobs, God, that we would carry your presence to our workplaces. We pray for our coworkers, God, that they would come to know you as their Lord and Savior, Lord, that they would seek you for themselves, God, that we would be a powerful example, God. We pray for new opportunities, for new jobs today, God, for new opportunities, Lord, to shine your light, to spread your message, God. Open those doors, God. Make those ways. Put our names in mouths of people, even now in back rooms, God, that would make this decisions on our behalf to bless and to pour out blessing upon us, God, in Jesus' name. We pray for healing in our body, God, that as we seek you and as we come into your presence, Lord, that your healing virtue would flow in our bodies, God. Whatever ailment we may be dealing with, God, we pray for your healing. We pray that every blood vessel, Father God, every cell would come into alignment with the word of Jesus Christ. Now we speak healing in the name of Jesus, God, and we pray for healing not only in our body, but in our mind. God, those who may be struggling with mental illness, those who may be struggling with depression, anxiety, Father God, Lord, we pray now, God, that you would bring peace to their mind, bring clarity to their thought. Let it be sharp. Let it be clear, God. We come against the enemy that would try to confuse, that would try to dull, God. We pray for the correct medicines to be taken. We pray for people to have the courage to step into counseling rooms, God, and work through the things, the trauma, the pain in their lives, God, that they would seek the help that they need, God. Surround them with a a team of people, God, who can and surround them and encourage them, God, to get the help that they need and take the steps that they need to take in Jesus' name. God, we pray for freedom from addictions today, God, from alcohol, from drugs, whatever it may be, whatever addictive behavior that may be, God, we speak freedom now in the name of Jesus. You said your spirit breaks yokes, it breaks bonds, God, and we ask now, Lord Jesus, that you would step into our lives, God, break addictions, break the chains of addiction off our life, off our loved ones' lives, off our friends' lives, God, now in the name of Jesus, we speak to that thing and we command it to leave 
In Jesus' name, I pray. God, give us wisdom to get the help that we need. God, whether that's going again into the counseling office, Father God, or treatment centers, Father God, so that we can walk in freedom and we can walk in clarity. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray for our loved ones, specifically our spouses, God. For all those who are married, God, we pray, Lord, that the bonds of marriage, God, would be stronger than they ever have before. God, that we wouldn't compare our lives, compare our marriages to anyone else, but God, that we would seek you. God, that we would seek to love our spouses like you love us, to that sacrificial love, God, that we would communicate in truth and in love, God, that we would consider one another and put each other before our own needs and before ourselves, God. We pray for healing for past hurts, healing from past traumas. In the name of Jesus, God, we ask that you would move in those marriages right now. Father God, those who have lost hope, those who feel like they're on the brink of the divorce, God, we ask that you would pull them back from the edge. God, we pray for healing and restoration. We pray for transformation in the heart, God. For those who may be married to someone who's not saved, God, we pray and declare that this year would be the year, God, that you would save our unsaved spouses, God. Lord, we pray, Lord, now that you would cover marriage, God, in your precious blood, that you would be with them now, God, in Jesus' name, God. We pray for our children. God, we lift them up before you, the whole family, Father God, our grown children, our little ones, Father God, wherever they may be in their development, God, we pray for your covering upon them. We pray that they would be pe people who love you, who seek your face their entire life, God. Lord, we pray for a favor upon them wherever they go, wherever their feet may walk. God, we pray for your protection. We pray for your favor. We pray for your healing. We pray for your provision, Father God, right now. And we command the enemy to take his hand off of our children. And God, we command right now your blessings upon their life, God, like never before. God, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Take your hands off of our seed. Take your hands off of our children, God. And we pray now in the name of Jesus that the enemy would not have any victory in their lives. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, move in their lives. Help them to know you as their own Savior. Let it not be their parents' religion. Let it not be their pastor's religion. But God, be their real and personal Jesus right there, God, that they could seek you and find you when they seek you with all of their heart. God, we pray for healing in our emotions, God. Those areas where we may be bruised, where we may be holding offense, where we may be holding brokenness. God, we pray for your healing virtue to flow right now, God. Mend the broken pieces of our heart, God, as only you can. God, be the doctor of our emotions, God. Bring healing, God. Be a healing salve to our emotions, God. Bring freedom even in our emotions, God, that we wouldn't be clogged up or stuffed up, God, that we can express our emotions to others or we feel like we don't have a voice or we feel like we don't have anyone to talk to. God, I pray that we'd be able to share with you that you surround us with the support system of people, God, that we can vent to, that we can express the issues of our life with God. Bring healing to our emotions, healing to our heart in the name of Jesus, God. We pray for restoration in all the areas of our life, Father God. Whatever that may be, God, whatever broken areas they are, God, we know that you are the mender of broken pieces. God, we pray for your healing, God, in our lives like never before. God, we ask, Lord Jesus, that all those who strayed away from you, God, those lost loved ones, those lost friends, those lost co-workers, God, that they would come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior. Lord, we pray that you would bring someone in their path, God, who can plant those seeds, those seeds of righteousness that would water those seeds, Father God, and that in your timing, through the power of the Holy Spirit, that they would come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior. We declare and we decree it right now, God, that you would save our unsaved loved ones, our unsaved friends, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. God, we pray for all of those who may feel like they have relationships in their life, God, who have been broken, who have been separated, the relationships that are strained with loved ones, with friends. God, we pray for healing of those relationships, Father God. We pray for restoration of those relationships, Lord Jesus. God, with those children, God, who may have strayed away or are from those people who we've had severed relationships with. God, we pray that you bring healing, that you bring restoration as only you can, God. Work in our hearts. Allow forgiveness to flow. Allow repentance to flow, God. In Jesus' name, we pray. God, we pray for breakthrough in our finances. God, we pray, Lord Jesus, that you will bring the freedom and a knowledge, God, that we would be able to handle our money in a way, God, that glorifies and honors you. We come against all debtors, God. We come against scams. We come against the, 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 the leaking and the outpouring from our own pockets, Father God, of not handling money correctly. And God, we ask that you would give us wisdom and an insight in this year, God, that we would be disciplined in our finances. We would be disciplined on our, on our jobs, Father God, that you would open up new opportunities for streams of income that we never knew about, that you would release money, God, that's been held up, God, that should be coming to us now. In Jesus' name, we pray. Allow that to flow. In Jesus' name, God, we pray now, God, that this is the year, God, that you have us covered.
covered, that this is the year, God, that you give us breakthrough in areas, God, where we feel like we've been knocking up against the wall, God, that you break down those walls, that you bring freedom, that you bring peace, that you bring restoration, God, now in Jesus' name we pray. God, we ask that you would move, and Lord, we commit this to you right now, and we know that you love us, and we choose to trust and believe that you are at work even when we cannot see you, God. We trust you, God, and in this 21 days, we ask that you would radically change our hearts, radically change our lives, that you would move in our life like never before, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Amen and amen. Praise God. Thank you for joining us today and join us again, same time, same place for another day of our 21-day prayer and devotion. We'll see you again next time.